Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and I want to show you a brand new feature available in the latest version of Photoshop. It's a face-aware liquify tool, which makes it really easy to do small or even dramatic touch-up on your subject's face. Here's how it works. I want to just take a quick look here, and you see we've got our subject, but I'd like to make some small adjustments. So I'll just bring up the filter menu here. There we go. And choose liquify and it's going to jump into the liquify interface. Let's just take a look at this here and you see we've got all of our basic controls. Now what it does is it automatically finds the eyes, the nose, the chin, the face, the lips. So this makes it very simple to make small adjustments. So for example, I can open those eyes up a little bit. Let's just drag. You see I can quickly change the size of the eyes. So they're a little more open, which is kind of cool. I can move those and adjust the width as well with separate control. Now on the face here, I can easily slim that face by pulling that in or out to compensate for any distortion, which is great. Now I love being able just to draw right here on the canvas to make those small adjustments there and just put the face where it needs to be. Let's do a little bit here with the lips. There we go. Good. Now you'll also see on the right you have controls for all of these, the size of the eye, the size of the mouth, so you can make adjustments by just grabbing those and moving them. So that's ultimately up to you. I'll hit return and that change happens to the image. Now let's try another face here. Same thing, we'll zoom in and I'll just invoke liquify, filter, liquify. It's going to find the face and as you mouse over you'll see there that I can just simply tap on what I want to work with, which is pretty cool. Let's zoom in here a little bit and work with this. So here's our lips. So what we can do here is even adjust things like the smile by just grabbing the corner and pulling. I can also adjust the width of that mouth slightly to stretch that out or even the size of that bottom lip independently, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead here and you see there we can adjust the eyes. I can also with two fingers just move that around so it's easier to get to where I want. That's pretty good there. Good. Let's just move that up. There we go. And what I'm going to do is make some small adjustments. So open our eyes just a little bit. Rotate that just slightly. That looks good. There we go. Same thing here with the nose. You can easily just push that up gently and make it just a little bit smaller. So it's great here that you've got all the on-image controls. Now, if you're using a more traditional laptop, you could, of course, use a mouse or your trackpad. I love being able to use the pen here on the surface and just make the manipulations right on screen. It's a bit more intuitive, but it's ultimately up to you. You can also use a tablet or any external device here with pen sensitivity if you prefer. But for me, drawing on the screen is awesome. Now, I like this, it's looking pretty good. Let's just take a look down at the chin here. And I'll just pull that up just a little and make the face just a little slimmer. Let's pull that in slightly. There we go. That looks pretty good. Let's just zoom that out. And I like where that's looking, so I'll simply hit the Enter key to apply it. And the change is done. I could press Control Z there so you can see the before and after and there's that face aware liquify, modifying the lips, making a small adjustment to the eye, and being able to pull all that together. This is a great new addition in the latest version of Photoshop, and I love this ability to actually do this right on the screen and just draw and work. What's really cool is with a device the size of an iPad, I can actually take this out in the field, but it's not limited. This is a full-blown computer with an i7 processor, and I can get all my work done and simply mount a hard drive or even plug in a card reader and work right off the memory card. This means that I can take the power of the desktop wherever I go and have all that flexibility right in my camera bag.